Hi guys, it's your friend Ivan from Antique Story. Today I have a very interesting item to show you and it's this very small handmade dagger. It is called a Kumaya Jambia dagger. It is very tiny and it is very beautiful. Let's get right into it and see what we have. Jambia is the Arabic term for a specific type of dagger. It is most closely associated with the people of Yemen and Nasharan in Saudi Arabia. Men typically above the age of 14 wear it as an accessory to their clothing. The Jambia is commonly referred to in Oman as Kanjar, Hanser in Kurdistan and Kohat in Somalia. Jambia were taken by travelers to other cultures including Persia, the Ottoman Empire and India, where they were adopted with slight differences to the blade, hilt and scabbard. A significant part of the Jambia is the hilt handle. The Saifini hilt is made of rhino horn. It is used on the daggers of wealthier citizens. Different versions of Saifani hilts can be distinguished by their color. Other Jambia hilts are made of different types of horn, wood, metal and ivory from elephants and walls. Apart from the material used in the hilt, the design and detail is a measure of its value and the status of its owner. The double-edged blade of the Jambia is constructed of steel, which in some cases is Damascus. The blade is stored in a sheet usually made of wood covered with metal or cloth. The sheet can be decorated with various ornaments that signify status. These include silver work, semi-precious stones and leather. The sheet can be fixed to a leather belt which is normally around 2 to 3 inches wide. The belt is usually worn around the lower abdomen. There are often other items attached to the belt such as a silver pouch for containing money and change. Regarding its use, despite the cultural significance of the Jambia, it is still a weapon. Although people have used it in times of dispute, there are social and Islamic norms that must be followed in order to avoid defamation. The Jambia should only come out of its sheet in extreme cases of conflict. It is also commonly used in traditional events such as dances. Like with some other curved knives, as the blade bends towards the opponent, the user does not need to angle the wrist, which makes it more comfortable as a stabbing weapon than straight bladed knives. Its heavy blade enables the user to inflict deep rounds and to cut through muscle and bone, making it a formidable and much feared weapon whose use is thus restricted by social rules. Ha! I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and like this video. See you around guys. See you around.